Good Monday afternoon. We are uh, talking about some sunshine, certainly a nice change of pace because it felt like in September we talked about rain quite a bit. And that's because we did. We ended up with 12.18 inches of rain for the Hartford area. We also were slightly above average when it comes to uh, average temperatures. So that's all of the high temperatures and low temperatures added up and divided out. But the rain is what's significant. If you recall a couple months ago in July, we ended up with almost 14 inches of rain for the Hartford area, which is the fourth wettest month on record. Well, September of 2023 is the sixth wettest month on record. The second wettest September on record. Records go back to 1905. It's only beat out by September 1938 when 14.59 inches of rain fell. But again, an impressive feat. That's two years, or rather two months this year, that we uh, ended up in the top 10 for wettest months. And we have scenes all over Connecticut looking like this. Andrew Urban sent this in from a clean game refuge in Simsbury. The waterfalls across the state have just been raging, and we do have one flood warning still in effect. This is for the Farmington River at Simsbury, where minor flooding is ongoing. But the good news is the river has crested, and those waters will likely recede either later today or tomorrow. So we're moving in the right direction, and we have plenty of dry time to help dry things up at least for the next several days. First alert live radar, Connecticut's only live radar, scanning the skies with nothing to show. Temperatures climbing nicely across the northeast, 73 in Hartford, 74 in Albany. To our northeast, some 60s mixed in. To our southwest, close to 80, especially as you approach the nation's capital. Just a little bit of color being mixed in across the state. Here's a live look in our ICAM in Rocky Hill, looking north 10 miles to the Hartford skyline. Uh, a little bit of haze. You can see that really pretty clearly here on our ICAM in New Haven, too. This is all wildfire smoke, but the good news is not huge huge impacts to air quality. There's certainly a little bit of an impact, just not huge impact uh, in the forecast. We'll get to that in just a second. It's from moderate air quality through the rest of the day, but also plenty of sunshine. Take a look at the 76 inland at 2 o'clock, 74 at the shoreline, and we stay here right through 5 o'clock this evening. So weather-wise, looking great. Air quality, moderate forecast for the remainder of the day. That's what these yellow dots signify. Not as bad as it could have been, but still not great. Tonight, patchy fog. It's comfortable. Temperatures drop into the 50s for most. Tomorrow, possible record warmth as we soar into the 80s. And we end this work week with yet another risk for rain, giving you the first alert to potential showers on Friday that could last into Saturday. Quick check on the tropics. We have tropical storm Philippe here, and Philippe is expected to curve north into the Atlantic. It likely stays to the east of Bermuda, but it strengthens as it moves north. So we are going to watch that uh, closely to see if that pushes more tropical moisture up toward us. For us, though, the big story is certainly the sunshine and warmth. Tomorrow, 84 inland. 80 at the shoreline. The record for the Hartford area tomorrow is 85, Bridgeport 80. So we're forecasting near record warmth. We keep that warmth right through Wednesday and Thursday. And Kara, here it is. Showers possible Friday, lingering into Saturday. And look at those highs Sunday, only around 60 degrees. Mark will have much more later on today.